so I hope you understand so uh, the description I will put on the kit and I will also add uh, the link of the kit in the description so there you can uh, read those again and in detail so now let us begin now let us run the whole image the thing here is here you are shifting from system V init to system D so it is kind of a lot of work for build system because there are lots of packages that uses system V in it and now we are replacing them with the system D so if you build maybe it will take two to three hours to build depending upon your system so you add these uh, these lines into your local.conf and then you run bitpick core image full command line so it's building I'll pause it until it builds and then I'll be back so the build has been completed successfully actually I have built this uh, previously so it didn't take much time this time so if once it is built then if you build uh, with some minor changes so it will not take a long time but if uh, in my case it took around two hours to build to shift from system V in it to system D so now let us now let us check what we have what we have uh, built and what do we have in the final image let me connect to bigger moon black so now I'm inside uh, bigger moon black and uh, let us check first the uh, process IDs what do we have I'm running ps minus ax ps not minus ps space ax and then here we have like some system D scripts going on the init is also has been in it so this is system D and if it's if uh, you will uh, you will check uh, system V in it so you'll find here etc I think etc slash something uh, I would suggest you before uh, you install this uh, before you shift to system D first of all check your this process ID your first process which PID 1 what is it if it is etc then it means that you are initially in system V in it sys V in it and now we have shifted to system D then what else we can do is we can check the commands so here you can see that we have a lot of commands related to system D, system CTL, system D cat and a lot of other system D commands we can also check system CTL if I do so here you will find a lot of uh, services I guess which are running on system D uh, yeah and furthermore if we check the D message if you see the D message you see that you have a lot of system D logs here so initially there are no system D logs but here when the init process started uh, detecting and then here we have a lot of system D messages on D message so it means that system D has been integrated successfully in our system lastly I want to show you the comparison between the system D and busy box in it system V in it and system D so in system D uh, in systems with the system V in it or busy box in it uh, services load sequentially it means one by one during the init and parallelization is not supported so with system D services starts in parallel so this method have an impact on the starter performance of the given services if we have system D though uh, system D will also provide more services by default so therefore the it is possible that the increasing the total boot time but most of the time it doesn't happen so it reduces the boot time due to the parallelization and then the system D also uh, 
uh, substantially increases the size of the image because of its multiple components and extra dependencies so on uh, the other hand busybox in it is the simplest and the lightest solution and also comes with the uh, busybox uh, uh, yeah yeah it is uh, the lightest solution and then yeah so if you see this diagram so here the size so the busybox is the smallest the small in it is system v in it is also small system d has a big footprint then complexity small complexity medium complexity high complexity so here put profiles no it has run levels so in system v they have run levels if you go to etc in it dot d there you will find different folders for different run levels and then here in system d we have targets so it is defined in shell script shell script is defined in description file and the coming in the next video we will run how to create a system d a system d uh, service simple system d service for any recipe and how to integrate it or how to enable it into the system and integrate it with the yocto build then here we have yeah starting services parallelly support in system d setting service remote uh, resource limits support in system d isolation and integrated logging so system d is like a very good package but it has also some drawbacks like big size and high complexity but overall performance is good so this is all about the init manager especially system d i hope you like the video please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching